Hey, welcome back. So a couple months ago I did a video on how to configure PPTP for remote access to your router and a lot of you are now on iOS 10 and Apple has apparently removed that. So what we're going to do is we're going to undo the PPTP setup and we're going to configure L2TP with IPsec. So it'll just take us a few minutes and then you can switch to that and, and not have to worry about it. So I'm not going to go through the client setup. Um, if, if you need help with that, just put it in the comments and then uh, maybe I'll do a separate video on that. But this is really just the router portion. Um, the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to SSH into the router. And I hope you've all been getting familiar with your command line interface. But uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into configure mode. And if you're not going to use PPTP at all, you want to follow this part. We're going to do one quick command here. We're going to do delete VPN PPTP. And then we're going to commit. You can see down here in the in the GUI, the GUI that uh, is telling us that the command has changed. We're going to go ahead and save that. And we are done uh, for a second with the command line. We will be going back, but I wanted to go over here and go to our firewall policies. And we're going to take out the rules that we had created for PPTP. So we will go ahead and delete this rule. and delete that one and then while we're here we'll go ahead and create these WAN local that's where this goes we'll go ahead and create these rules so there's gonna be four rules and the first one's gonna be we're gonna call this one IKE and we're gonna accept and it's UDP and destination is port 500 save that I'll add another one and it's gonna be L2TP and we're gonna accept UDP and destination 1701 Then the next one is going to be ESP, and we'll accept, and let's choose a protocol by name, and we'll do ESP, we'll save that. And the last one is NAT T, and we'll accept that, it's going to be UDP. Did I do that for ESP? We'll check that one real quick. And then if you like to keep your firewall rules in order, we'll reorder this real quick and we'll take Okay, so now your firewall rules are done. So now all we gotta do is hop back over to the command line and run these commands. And I'm also gonna put them down in the description. So we'll go back, and you can see that it's been telling us that we've been making configuration changes. Now, this is local authentication, not radius. You can do radius. This covers local authentication only. So we are still in configure mode. And so the first thing we'll do, set VPN IPsec, IPsec, interfaces, interface. <clears throat> now, um, since, since the last time I've done a configuration video, I have completely blown the configuration out of this Edge Router X, and it used to be that my WAN interface was ETH1. Well, now it's ETH0. So if you run the um, the wizard and you've selected ETH0, so now ETH0 is my my WAN interface. So I'm going to select ETH0, and then we are going to enable NAT traversal. 
and then we're going to tell it that the um, L2TP authentication mode is local. And I'm going to add a um, I'm going to add a username and password here. Just to show you. So username is WHOW password. Let me in. And man, that is not a very secure password, but it does take it. Um, so then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define the upper and lower range of our DHCP pool for clients that are going to connect. So this is where we're going to start and then so we'll have a start and stop. Now we're going to assign the uh, DNS servers to those clients. And I'm going to use Google for the first one. And then for the second one, we're going to use the good old 4.2.2 that's out there. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, add the um, pre-shared secret. And then we're going to define that. And then we're going to change the timeout. And then we're going to set the auto firewall. And then we'll set the remote uh, access interface. And this assumes that you have a DHCP address on ETH0. Um, otherwise, if, it's, uh, if some of you have static out there and you're doing this, put a comment. And then uh, we'll, I'll put that command down in the, the comments. Now, if everything went well, we should be able to commit this. It'll do a uh, sanity check here. Looks like uh, the GUI's popped up that, that we're doing some stuff there. And we'll save it. And now if you've got a command, if you've got dynamic DNS set up on this, you can connect now. Uh, using L2TP with IPsec to your dynamic DNS name or if your IP really never changes you can connect so that'll do it for today if you like the video please give me a thumbs up please comment subscribe and we'll see you at the next video